Lots of shopping to do and not enough time to do it. I feel like since I already have a son, who knows if I might have a daughter in the future, so I might need some of these things. Oh, definitely need the baby. My baby girl's gonna be spoiled, I'll tell you that. Having one kid's cool, but I feel like I need two to make a pair, you know what I mean? Ooh, the Barbie toys. Aren't you gonna fall off of YouTube? What? Didn't you fall off of YouTube? Weren't you like a famous editor and all that? I guess I did fall off. <laughs> I had to grind harder. You can probably target if you want. If you guys you are taking apps? Yeah. Okay, I mean, I can look into it for sure. Got you, got you. All right, well, cool. nice to see you, bro. Nice to see you too, bro. Really just started off my day with a Target employee telling me that I fell off. Like, that was really weird. Ooh, white chocolate chip with macadamia nuts. These go hard. Oh, aren't you that fool who makes those whack ass videos? What? Those whack videos, bro, you know? For YouTube? There's no way. Like, are you guys playing a joke on me? Nah, bro. Damn, I need to grind harder then, I guess. Jeez, nice to see you, though. Peace out. The day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. But anyway, I definitely need one of these. Like, I always lose my items, my wallet, my keys. This helps me track it, so definitely gonna have to pick this up. How much does this cost right here? I will tell you, but your videos suck. All right, bro. I just dipped into an aisle real quick because I just had to reassess what's like really going on. Like, this Target is definitely playing a joke on me. Someone told them that I was here. I don't know what's happening. Everyone's telling me my videos are trash. If they're really trash, let me know in the comments. Like, I don't know. I think they're pretty good. I put a lot of effort into them. Nonetheless, I just bought my new house, so I need to furnish it a little bit more. I need a rug for sure to put in the front door. I want people to feel like they're at home when they come to my house. So. Be our guest. Definitely need this one. Target runs are the best runs though. You can just find anything you need here. Even if you don't need it, you're gonna find it. What else? Who's calling me? Yeah, who's this? Hi, we're telemarketers and we're just wanting to know why your videos are doing so bad. What is, what's going on? We just wanted to know why your videos are doing so bad. Okay, just please don't call this number again. I don't know who this is, just please leave me alone, okay? I hope you have a good day. Bro, what's going on, bro? What's actually happening right now? First, the Target employees. No caller ID hitting my phone telling me my videos suck. At this point, I feel like I'm just getting disrespected. I don't even want to shop here anymore. I don't want to buy any of this. Let's just get out of here, bro. You know, I'm going to call my mom. I'm going to tell her what just happened to me. Like, there's no way this is real. Hey, mom. Hey, son. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. What are you up to? I'm at Target right now. I just wanted to tell you what happened. What happened? Like, three Target employees just came up to me and said I should quit YouTube. I don't think so. Everyone's telling me that though. What do you think? I think you should go back to school. Where did that come out of? I mean, really, how long can you do this for? I think I'm doing pretty good right now. You are, son, but you know me in higher education. I mean, you are a nurse. Are you at work right now? I am. <sighs> now I'm like torn apart. I don't know what to think anymore. Like, should I go back to school? I think you should, but you should follow your heart. I'm just gonna step outside real quick and think it out. I love you, Mom. Thank you so much. You know, maybe people are right. Maybe my videos are trash. I put so much effort into them, but if everyone's telling me the same thing, maybe they're right. Usually, I don't listen to hate on the internet and in real life, but I feel like everything's just getting to my head today. I don't know. And on top of that, my own mom called me and told me I should go back to school. So you know what? I think that's what I have to do. I was just never a straight A student. School was never meant for me, but who knows? Maybe today's the day I get my degree. Pulled up to a university, I never thought I would be stepping foot on one of these. I was always that really stupid kid in class, so the fact that I'm even able to step foot here is an honor, you know what I mean? First things first, we gotta go enroll. If they don't accept me, that's their loss. What's the mascot? Uh, the Leo. Oh, they're Leos, like leopards and stuff, okay. Hi, I'm here to enroll. Uh, I'm not like a, a current student here, but I'm trying to apply to be. We're at the CCLEC lab right now. Got a communications and digital media flyer. Still trying to see what path I'm gonna take, but I'm leaning more towards like digital media. I feel like that would suit me more. Communications, like I was saying earlier though, very important. Degree level, okay, now that is something I don't know. I don't have a degree other than a high school one, so. We're just gonna go for the masters, because I feel like that's where I'm aiming for. Major program, accounting, because if I stand up my money, I might be taller. Let's, uh, let's get my pin and activate my account to enroll. Dude, if I get in, I'm throwing a huge rager at my house. Birth date, September 3rd, 1999. We're already here making a password, baby. All right, just completed my application on the computer, but at the same time, I feel like I don't have to wait for them to tell me that I'm in. I should just start my education early. Like, I don't need them telling me what to do, so. Let's um, let's head on to campus and uh, head to class. What questions do you have? I'm just getting back into school. Okay, perfect. So kind of just like how the whole process is nowadays or just yeah. like, just kind of getting back into it. Like um, last college I went to was a community college. Okay. Dropped out after a month and then uh, kind of just wanted to find myself. You know what I mean? Like right. 
took different career paths, started filming for other people, and like did like freelance stuff. But okay. you know, everyone's been telling me I should just get back into school. And then I finally just, you know, reconsidered it. I'm like, you know what, this could be like a good option for me. Okay. I think that's all I need. Awesome. Well, um, here's my business card. If anything, if you have any questions along the way about CC or anything else, just let me know. You Thank you so much. I appreciate that. What was your name? Noah. Yeah, I think we're ready for the tour. Let's do it. Let's do it. This campus is beautiful, though. Yeah, you know, no, honestly, it's terrific. We're, we're a small campus, but um, we do have a lot of you know resources for students and different things like that. I always tell students like look around, ask around because there's always something for students that's free. Yeah. <laughs> Which is really. I nice. love free. Hey. Well, <laughs> This is a school for you then. So a lot of our commuter, were, were you planning on commuting? I have an electric scooter, so it's not that far. <laughs> where, yeah. where are you from right now? I'm Ontario. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Not too far, yeah. With the electric scooter, I get down here in like 30, 40 minutes. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I zoom. Oh, really? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Ride around my little bike. Yeah, right? Since we are a smaller school, we don't have everything. Bigger schools have. Yeah. They're not amazing. <laughs> you know what? It's about going out, supporting. Could be a little water boy or something. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's a lot of fun, and you know, even I mean, I know you didn't apply, but even if you want. Oh, my to cameraman apply, might like. He was talking about it in the. You're kind of interested now. I am. He's okay. interested. <laughs> well, hey, after you see this building, you're, you might be even more interested. Ooh. I was telling one of the guys in there I want to do more like lighting work. This is kind of like the studio area where oh. they do like the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, studio and all of that. Got it. <laughs> yeah, That's... no, it's honestly super cool. Yeah. Somebody is on air right now, so we can't go fully in. Oh, of course, but... yeah. I don't want to ruin their recording. <laughs> I just wanted to show them really quickly. What? Yes. Like mixing and mastering and stuff? Like on some Metro Boomin. Great week. Next up, we have Nicki Can we actually like look around a little bit? Yeah, if you want to. I mean, because you guys already talked to a counselor. So yeah, no. Set, but Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, if you have any other questions, just give us a call back. And it was nice meeting you too. Nice meeting you too. <laughs> and of hopefully, course. you know. We'll, we'll be back. seeing you very soon. Yes. At the moment, guys, I'm feeling very inspired, very touched, very just like just a part of something. I don't know. Something inside me just feels like enraged with knowledge. You know, I just want to learn. So I think what we should do now is head into the library, talk to some students and see if they can give me some advice. But overall, man, I don't know. I'm still on the edge about this whole thing. How's it going, bro? How you doing? Noah, um, I'm new here. Like, I'm just trying to see, like, um, like where's the best place to kind of, like, start off? Well, it depends. Have you been going here for a while? No? Okay. No worries. Oh, man, like all this information in my head right now is like a lot to take in. Like applying to college, learning all the ins and outs of this place. It's just a little too much. I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like this isn't it for me. I feel like there's more to it, you know? I think I need to go back, maybe, I hate to say it, I think I need to go back to high school. All right, y'all, before we go to my high school, I have to do my high school routine. Every single day before school, I would come to this place right here called Rose Donuts and Sandwiches. It would be my go-to spot. Like, no matter what, my mom would drop me off here. I would walk here after school. school or before school I was actually the type of kid that would bring a dozen donuts before school and just hand it out to all of my friends because you know Simplistic was a nice kid so let's go get a dozen mm, just puts a smile on my face looking at this again all right now I feel like I can go back to school got my dozen donuts come on man Wow guys to be back on campus is such a weird feeling this is my high school in the background I spent four years of my life trying to figure out who I was here lots of stuff went down in this place so what I didn't mention is I'm actually gonna be talking to about three classes about my life story today. I feel honored, man. The fact that they wanted me to come here and just talk about my life story to some students. 
me want to cry. The person who all set this up is my business class teacher, Miss Allen. So shout out to Miss Allen. We are about to head down memory lane. Throughout this journey, I'm going to show you guys some spots around the school that I had some memories in. It's really weird because I have a million subscribers on YouTube. Well, <laughs> 1.1 million subscribers. Get me to 2 million subscribers, subscribe down below. But just the thought of me talking to a whole class, I don't know why, that just gives me stage fright. It's really weird. All right, we're heading into the office right now. We have to sign in. Oh, you're with Miss Allen? Yeah, you got yeah. the phase jersey yeah, on or the, the hoodie? How's it going? Let's go, bro. Chillin', chillin'. We have to sign in real quick, you too. How do you guys like Miss Allen's class? Yeah? You like it? I have a donut, you want a donut? Oh my gosh, I love donuts. Yeah? Yeah. You're more than welcome. All right. Here you go. You <laughs> I do, I'm sure. It's an assorted donut, so. What are these donuts for? I don't want to take one piece. Oh, no, 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 you're not taking anything. Like, I just brought them, like, because I'm a nice guy, you know what oh, I mean? You're a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing, like, three different periods today, so that's oh, pretty good. Oh, okay, there you yeah. are. There you are, you're ready to go, okay? No, this is no Rojas, though. I'm simplistic. When I, oh my god, they made some changes. When I came here, there was no, like, cabanas, like, that whole, like, building over there was gone, like, in front of the, yeah, none of this was here. It's been so long, Miss Allen. I brought some donuts. Oh, thank that's you. That's why I was late. Thank yeah. Thank you. Good to see you. You too, you too. All right, y'all, we're going to take a quick lap around the school. Chilling? Good, good. The fan love here is crazy already, but I just want to walk you guys through some of my best memories I've had here, all right? Because I feel like you guys deserve to know. The craziest thing is seeing this school like four years later because there's so many changes. New buildings have been added, so many new things around the school. But one memory I remember having right here is every single time during the holidays, they would lay out a bunch of snow around this entire place. Like this place would literally be covered in snow that they would get from the mountains nearby. And they would invite students and we'd all have snowball fights. Like I would literally be pegging all of my friends just throwing snowballs at him. Let's keep going around though. All right, where should we go? Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Honestly, I am too though. I haven't grown a bit. Bro, hey, hey, I'm this guy's height when I was a freshman. I'm not gonna lie, you still have a chance. You still got a chance. It's hard for me to even walk here, Miss Allen. This is crazy. Yeah, say hi. Oh, my name is Boris. Boris, bro. Say what's up. What's up? Let's go. Oh, yeah. sick. And what is it called? Uh, it's called uh, Risk. So Risk, okay. It's, it's for like Arabic. Okay. It means like, you know, sustenance for all. You know, yeah. like love that. Bro, if you guys have some like merch on you right now, I'd love to wear it. <laughs> He's like, damn. <laughs> what was your name? Furkan. Furkan, bro. Nice to meet you. When did you guys start the clothing brand? Like this year. Okay, oh. sick. Bro, do not give up on it. Yeah. Keep it going. Even throughout high school, even after high school, please keep it going. <laughs> awesome. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you. Of course. After I leave, they decide to make some new buildings, man. I used to have to go to like bungalows or like these like makeshift, like not really real classes all the way out in the field. Portables. The portables. Yes, that's what they were called. Hi, nice to meet you. What's your name? Sam. Sam, nice to meet you, Sam. One, two, three. Hey, I graduated from here. Oh my God. It's official. I got you. Wait, where's the, oh, right here's better. You can barely see it, Loki. To think that I'd be at my high school signing stuff. Oh, that's sick. Awesome. Yeah, nice to meet you. Is Mr. Lauderback still here? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is he there right now? He's in the teacher's lounge right oh. now. Oh. What's good, bro? How you doing? Can you take a picture? Yeah, let's do it. San Diego. He should have came. Next time. This is nuts. Hey, we got the nothing was the same. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, that's the best photo I've taken all day. Thanks, man. Because you had the sandwich. Because I had the sandwich. Yeah, of course. And the Mohawk, bro. Tony Hawk Pro Skater vibes. You guys still have an hour lunch? Yeah. Really? It's like 15 minutes long. Oh, chilling. That was my favorite thing. When I came to this school, having an hour lunch was unheard of. Wait, are these the lunches that they're handing out now? Yeah. That's crazy. What comes in it? Yogurt, milk, celery. Some snacks, type fruits yeah. and vegetables. Okay. Well balanced, well balanced. I got them long arms. I got you. Yes, I'm like a human tripod. Who wants to get crossed up, though? I'll cross you up. Oh, I'll where's the ball? Where's the ball? Oh, next time? All right, next time. I'm not gonna lie, Miss Allen, I don't even know where the teacher's like lounge is. It's top secret? Okay, I won't tell anyone. Wait, can I see the ball? Ooh. Hold on. Ah. Oh. oh, oh, yes sir. Oh, he's better, he says. Oh, oh, What's yes up, sir, buddy? how you doing? How's it going? Good to Another see you. Another one of my favorite teachers right here. Oh, it's my favorite student. Really? Class of 2000 something. 17. <laughs> They're 17. I've got the FaZe Clan sweater. I'm a proud honorary member. Like you hit like trick shots. I am uh, 360, also multi-kill, <laughs> kill-taculars. Like nukes, everything, nuke, all that. Nuke, airstrike. I'm trying to remember. You know? <laughs> I don't play Call of Duty much anymore. Rocket League? I stopped playing Rocket League. I've been playing mostly Overwatch. Okay. 
I'm not good. It's good to see you, though. It's been good so long, you, man. Right? Good to see you. Literally one of my favorite teachers. Go show some love to Mr. Lottie back in the comments, man. It's good, my guy. It's an honor to meet you. You too. You're pretty known about these parts, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know who you are. You are? I graduated here. Isn't that crazy? Hey, you're up next though. Nice oh, to meet you. Nice to meet you. What was your name? Nick. Nick, nice to meet you, Nick. I got you. Also, can we go to the baseball field? Or like that field real quick? So behind me, we have our baseball field. This place played a huge part in my life because it showed me how to fail, all right? When I first went into high school at 13 years old, I was a late bloomer, but that's actually when I started my YouTube career. I just wanted to bring up this funny story because in high school, I did have a passion for sports. Even though I was like 4'11 and weighed 100 pounds, when baseball season started here, there's so many kids that were taller stronger than me but I had a passion all right so I came to the tryout ready hit some baseballs made some plays needless to say never went back after that and then I did the same thing with soccer I went to the first soccer tryout of the year scored some goals passed it around a little bit after that never went back to another tryout and that's when in my head I was like nah I didn't quit I'm putting all of my time into YouTube I don't care who says what I just knew that this was my full-time passion all throughout high school I had a bunch of people that questioned why I wanted to do YouTube like people were making money off YouTube but it wasn't like a big thing just yet even as a freshman in high school I just knew that this was gonna be a full-time thing for me even if it made little money or a lot of money it did not matter to me believe me when I say this you always hear those stories about people that make it in life that talk about their high school experience Experience, like no one ever believed in me everyone always doubted me I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true I had a lot of haters in high school people that doubted me that didn't want me to win but then again for the people that did support me in my life throughout high school and even to this day I'm still friends with them you guys know who you are if you're watching this video but yeah man just had to let that out believe me when I say this I never ever did this in high school as you guys can see I got my gains after high school like look how strong I am hold on just another day What's it's been going? a while. Yeah, how long has it been? Since 2017. Oh my god. Yeah, right. <laughs> so what's going on besides this? Just this, honestly. Yeah, oh, yeah? yeah. Just like YouTube. That's awesome. Right. That is so cool. Doing this full time and uh, making videos, and I just came to talk in Miss Allen's class today. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Having fun. Come yeah. Back up right. In school. I would love to come back more often. So yeah, hopefully we can do more awesome. stuff in the school and as For much sure. as I can do. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, right. Good, good seeing you. You as well. Good to see you. Yeah. Good luck with everything. I'll come back soon. About to speak to my first class. I don't know they all want to be recorded so we have to ask you know be respectful of that hopefully everyone wants to be on YouTube because I would love to show you guys my speech I feel like I'm pretty good at talking to have my way with words so we're about to ask them and uh, let's get into it man. all right I was never good at like speaking in front of people I always say this it's kind of crazy that I'm even doing this now because to think back then in high school if I were to try and do this it'd be really hard for me since doing YouTube it's kind of opened me out of my shell been allowing me to try and like you know break out of that to be able to talk to people and with having over a million followers I can now kind of like embrace that people watch me and it's it's good to interact with people so I just want to start off by saying that I'm just gonna tell you guys kind of like my life story kind of summarize and uh, give you guys a background on how I became who I am today um, it's an honor to even be talking to you guys so starting off my career was actually in high school right so I was a freshman and I always knew I had a passion towards YouTube I always knew that this was something I wanted to do but back then it was never uh, a viable career path like YouTube wasn't a thing where it's like oh you want to do YouTube and you're gonna be really successful and make a lot of money it was more of a thing like some people were making money off YouTube but it just wasn't that big of a platform yet right so when I started I just knew that it's something I wanted to do full-time and I just had fun with doing it and that's one thing I want to push towards everyone in this class like you have a passion towards something no matter what it is even if it's not making a lot of money at the time right now no matter what it is just put your all into it and really go hard with it because you never know what it could become I wish I would have listened to a lot of the the things that I was told by teachers in some regards because like you can learn a lot of stuff in high school if you really pay attention if you really want to become something right so in this class alone, Miss Allen taught me a lot, like whether it was business, how to interact with people more, how to how to carry yourself if you want to become a successful person. But while being in high school, I knew that this was an opportunity that I did not want to miss, even with doing schoolwork, right? Of course, me not knowing where that would take me, I just knew it was a passion of mine and I knew I wanted to do it. So I kept doing that. And while in high school as well, I tried making as much connections as possible. And that's the biggest thing you guys need to like know. Like making connections in this life is very very valuable. Everyone knows someone and it's all about who you know. So if you want to become a big YouTuber, you kind of want to have someone that's in the YouTube space already or that knows about YouTube, right? So if you want to become a lawyer, don't you want to know a successful lawyer that can give you tips, that can mentor you? While doing my YouTube career, as I wanted to call it back then, even if I was getting 100 to 200 views a video, I had to start making those connections. Were you ever afraid of the job security? 
Um, I still get asked that to this day, like, oh, like, what if YouTube isn't a platform anymore? What if YouTube, like, dies out? Honestly, it's the same thing for when I first started. Like, if I have a passion for this, I'm still going to do it regardless. So even if the monetary value isn't there, I'm still going to, like, put my all into it. So even when I was 13 years old, not making any money till now, if I stop making money, like, at least I'm doing what I love. Was there ever a time where like you second guessed like social media, like maybe it wasn't gonna work? You know what's crazy is like even to this day, I still get those thoughts. Cause now that you have, or at least now that I have a platform, I have a lot more weight to carry. Like having a million people commenting, watching all the time and like, you know, watching my every move. Now that I have people stopping me in public, like not that I question it, it's just something that I didn't know that really came with it at the time. I never really questioned it because if I did, I would have stopped doing it. I would have never fully became a YouTuber and a social media influencer. Like even in high school, so many people was telling me like, why are you making videos every day? Like, that's weird. Like, why are you recording? Why are you like doing all this? And it's like, even if people didn't get it at the time, I'm sure they do now, you know what I mean? Like now knowing that it actually became a career path. So maybe I questioned it in the beginning stages, like when I was very young because I was very uh, influenced by the people around me. But even then, in, in the back of my mind, I knew I had to like fully go into this. Um, how do you come up with like inspiration or ideas for your video? So that's the hardest part about YouTube, right? Like you don't know what you're doing the next day. Like right now I'm filming this video. I don't even know when this is gonna go up. Like what I'm doing tomorrow, like it's all a process, but just trusting your own creativeness and like trusting the process throughout the videos. Like, I don't know when this is gonna go up, what it's gonna be titled, what it's gonna be like, just, I don't know a lot about it, but I'm still gonna make something out of it and just like trust that it'll do good and continue on just grinding. Thank you so much. Okay. We are dedicated to like filming too. Like we do art. Yeah, we have a lot of cameras. Yeah, okay, we're, sick. We're old, but it's like they work. Yeah, yeah, they, they work. work. <laughs> so you got some Legos here, and you can make whatever's on it. Yeah, you just out of the Legos. Yeah. This is so sick. I'm gonna need the bulldog. Um, I'll take the corgi, a poodle, Saint Bernard. Ooh, golden retriever is a classic dog. I think I'll take all these right here. Oh, yeah, amazing. All right, let me get the Vembo. I'm gonna act like how I used to act in high school. Okay, I wasn't that shy, okay? But even then, I wasn't like fully simplistic yet, you know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you. Got you guys, yeah, yeah. Someone said, you know who that is? I barely know who I am. I don't think, I'm trying to recreate this one. Like four years oh! ago. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. No way, I can't. No way. Look at that, four years ago? Yeah, something like that. That's crazy. It's your birthday today? It is my birthday. Yeah. Hey, let's go, birthday. happy birthday. Wait, how old are you turning? 16. 16, yeah. happy birthday, bro. Oh, oh, is it looking good so far? Yeah. Good? Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. Everyone has to pay. No free freaking con candy out here. How big do we make it? Um, as big as you want. Oh, sick. Good? All right, cool, let's bag it. There you go. All right, y'all, overall, I had a fun day going back to high school. I only came for a few hours, so I didn't get the full experience. But shout out to my teacher, Miss Allen, for inviting me back here. Got to meet a lot of fans. But in the future, I definitely want to do more stuff with my high school. Maybe do an assembly coming up. I go up there and just start talking. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I can make a fool out of myself. But other than that, just going back to school in general, going back to college, going back to high school, it was all fun. I am just super grateful for everything that has been coming my way. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. Please drop a like, subscribe down below to get me to 2 million subscribers and comment what I should do next. Maybe I should come back to my high school and act like a student for the day. Who knows? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.